Welcome back to our video series dealing with passwords. In the first part of this series, we looked at how your passwords are stored online using MD5 or SHA encryption. Then we determined if your password was safe by looking at the entropy of the password. In this, the third of the series, we are going to delve into how to create a secure but easy to remember password. Once this is done, the following video is going to deal with password examples. Then we'll have a look at two-factor authentication, followed by password managers. And by the end of this series, you should have all the necessary knowledge to choosing a secure, safe password to protect yourself while using the internet on all the websites that you are visiting. So with that in mind, let's have a look at a list of things of what to avoid when creating a password for yourself. First off, Less than 13 characters is too short if you want your password entropy to be over 80. And that, if you looked at my previous video, how secure is your password, I dealt with this whole issue of password entropy. And if you have a look at the table, this is how entropy is determined based on the characters or symbols, numbers, etc. that you choose, and then you multiply it by the number of characters in your password. So 13 is determined to give you an entropy of at least 80 bits, which is what you want to be fully secure. Exclude words that involve personal information. Please don't include your birthdays or your address, etc. in your password, because that is so easy to get with social hacking, which is what Facebook and various social sites are doing when you fill in all those surveys. There are password blacklists on the internet. So don't use words found in those. These are generally referred to as the top XXX number of most commonly used passwords. And according to Cyber News, the top 10 most commonly used passwords are things like 1234567891234567891 QWERTY, password, and the rest you can see from this list. So please don't use any of those. And I know a lot of my clients who have used passwords like this in the past. Whoever you're working for, don't use that company's name, abbreviation, or any part of their name, because that is also a very common thing that people do in businesses. Don't use passwords that might match common formats, such as calendar dates, license plate numbers, phone numbers, or other common number formats. Remember my previous comment about social engineering. When people are on Facebook and they fill in all those surveys, a lot of those are designed to start compiling a list of information that is personal to you. And if you fill those in or if your information is readily available on those social sites, be warned that those are what they're using to start compiling password lists. Never append the current year to a password. I also, Again, I have a lot of clients that would have a password of, say, for example, they just use the word password. And then in 2019, they'll put password 2019. Next year, they'll do 2020 password or password 2020, so on and so forth. That is such a common thing to do that hackers will try that first and foremost. Never use the same password twice. What I mean by that is if you're accessing multiple websites, every single website that you access must have a unique separate password there's at least 13 characters. And part of that is going to deal with password managers, which is in a later on video, and how you utilize those to accomplish this goal. So please keep that in mind. Anything you've posted on social media, such as dog names, etc., don't ever use those as part of your password. Avoid character repetition, keyboard patterns, dictionary words, letters, or number sequences. Don't use information that is or might become publicly associated with you, such as users' names, ancestors' names, dates, birth dates, home addresses, etc. Don't ever use any information that your colleagues and acquaintances, friends, even family might know to be associated with you, such as pet names, romantic links, current or past, uh, biographical information such as your city of birth, country of birth, things like that. Don't ever use those. Now, really, really bad words to use as passwords are years, names, sports teams, cities, curse words, such a common one. I have so many clients when I ask them for their password for their computer, 
Yeah, some of it's quite vulgar, but very, very common words that are used for a password. So don't ever use those. Months, days, seasons, foods, all of these are common. So don't use those as your password. With all of this in mind, it's almost like we're saying you have very limited options for selecting a password. But the key, let's have a look at this table again based on password entropy. The last item in the table that I've mentioned in a couple of videos is a Diceware word list. With Diceware, it allows you to be 100% completely random, which is why there's such a high entropy to the Diceware word list. All hacking is based on password patterns and expected behaviors, whether it's grammatical or whether it's characteristic. So if you're using something like a Diceware word list, what you can do is download the Diceware word list off of the internet. You can do a quick search for it, and I've already downloaded it here. And let's have a look. The Diceware word list is completely random in terms of how it works. You can see here's the list here. There's 39 plus pages of different words all associated with a five digit character. So what you wanna do for this is you grab a pair of, you grab some dice, five die to be exact, roll them to get completely random numbers. And each roll will correspond to a number in this list. If you don't have dice on hand, not a problem. Go to a website called random.org. When you go here, there's a dice option on the list, random.org forward slash dice. How many virtual dice do you want to select? So we want to select five dice. If we roll the dice, we can see that the number 112222. So if we hop back over to this list and we do a quick search for 11222, the first word of our password would be a crew. Then we roll the dice again and we get 11442, 11442, and we get AI. So do this for five or six words and put them together. They're completely random, and there's no way password hackers will be able to break into it, and your password entropy will be really high. They're easy to remember words, so it does make it easier for you to remember long passwords, but bear in mind, that even that, at some point, computers are probably going to get fast enough, strong enough that they're going to be able to hack those. So what you can do then is any of these words that's in this list, in the middle of the word, for example, say we had Abbott. In the middle of this word, we can just add a dollar sign. Don't replace the letter for a dollar sign, but add the dollar sign in the middle or somewhere else, like the second letter or the fifth letter or whatever the case that will break any pattern and make it really hard for dictionary hacks, for brute force attacks, for hash tables to hack the passwords. So those are a couple of ideas for you for selecting a completely safe, easy to remember password. Make sure you do that because hackers are getting very, very clever. And a lot of people are wondering why they're starting to lose money out of their bank accounts or their accounts have been hacked, such as PayPal accounts or Amazon accounts. So folks, I hope you found this video to be informative, handy. By all means, do give us a thumbs up at the bottom, like the channel. And above all, stay safe out there. Have yourselves a fantastic day. Bye for now.